Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Play episode with me. My name is Voltaic Spark here on a new world. Yes guys, this is a freshly generated world and guess what it is? Not 1.18, it's 1.17, but it is amplified. Yes, we are doing a amplified world series now, and I'll try my best to do it. And there's just a random grass block floating here. But yes, I've just been feeling just a little bit burnt out on my other world, and don't get me wrong here, guys, I love the other world. I'm just feeling a little bit out of ideas, and I thought. Well, why don't I change things up a little bit? Maybe that's the problem. Maybe I just need a little more inspiration. And is that a jungle in the background? Guys, that looks like an amplified jungle biome. Let's go see it. A lava. First, let's start off with the basics, though, and uh, mm, stay out of the darkness. And it looks like this is a several biome intersection. Desert, savanna, grass plains, Taiga, is that Taiga? No, I think it just goes up very high. But yeah, guys, let's yeah, start by punching a little bit of wood. So the first part is done, and now the first thing we want to do right now is to start collecting wood. And once we have done that, like I have, we want to create a few small basic things like the crafting table I want that on crafting table a few sticks and set that down and we want to only make a wooden pickaxe for now anyways and then I'm just gonna run over to the side of the wall right here and just grab myself about 20 blocks of stone, and then I can craft my first tools. Go in the water and I get a boat crafting recipe. Oh, coal. And then sheep are very important here. I wonder what an amplified swamp looks like. Stone sword. And we want to kill the sheep and get its wool, and we want to find as many sheep as we can for now. So then we can make some other useful things, such as a bed. And that will allow us to sleep and pass the night if we are still unprepared for the night. Nice waterfall, Paul. That's very convenient. There's a little more coal over there. I'm sure I'll find a little bit more around here. So... Oh, the clouds cut right through it. That's so cool. And you, along with the waterfall, is a perfect place for a base. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah, we're building a base here for sure. There's no two ways about it. We gotta build a base here. We just have to build a base here. And a bit of bamboo. Ow. For now though guys, I don't think being up high will be the best thing for us at the moment since there is a skeleton there. That's nice, I want to get away from that. And if it turns dark up here, there's a lot of trees and lots of... I think it's starting to get dark actually. Uh oh. Gotta find a bit of shelter quick. Doesn't matter how weak the mob is right now, guys. We can really just get destroyed by it. That scared me.
Success. Now we should build a furnace. And maybe another one. Let's wrap. And this is hard mode for those of you asking that question. And, uh, yeah, I'm trying to be as careful as I can here. Well, I wasn't a second ago, but now I am. Let's just regen some health here. And the most useful thing you probably want to make right now would be a shield, because that will be very useful for you in the long run. And this is the recipe, in case you don't play with recipe. Uh, but even I play with recipes, even though I know most of them. But now I can confidently go down here and just... Give whatever's down here what for. Lots of iron, that's very, very good. Now we're getting down quite far now that we've reached lava. That is really, really good. Duh. Ravine wasn't quite what I was hoping to run into, but also at the same time it was. Okay, and here is the creeper, and uh... And that was not too useful. There's usually more where that came from. be too cautious when playing Minecraft. That's good, now we found a mine shaft and don't have to worry about wood. Let's Plays. Um, I do play with the captions on just because it helps me to identify exactly where each thread or sound is coming from. I don't need it. I can do it. I can just hear normally, but it's a little more precise and accurate, and if there's a creeper beside me, I can immediately look down and say, oh, sizzling is coming from my right. So then I turn to my right, just in time to throw my shield, or stuff, and that's just an example. Best play comes first. Boots would be second. And with the last remaining three, we can make a pickaxe. That will help us and give us access to any more valuable ores we may find. And we definitely want to use this to collect some water. So we can put out some lava or fire if we need any, or just stop our fall if, in case we fall too high. And yeah, that is it for now. We can do that. Dig, use the stone pickaxes to dig through anything that we don't really need to worry about. Like stone, don't want to waste the iron. Think too good. 
All right, now we are all geared up and ready to fight whatever monsters come our way, and we can take out that skeleton now. And if I just get down here. Wow. Nice shot. You missed. Like, horribly. Okay, deep slate. Lapis. Oh, I thought that was diamonds for sure. But this is where... Now there are some diamonds. We will be back for those shortly. Oh, more deep slate. More diamonds. That's very convenient. Our first diamond, guys. Always dig around. There might be more. Four diamonds, guys. Our first diamonds. Do I dare use the trick? One, two, ah, it worked. Just like, usually that doesn't work for me. Ah, uh, yes. Just getting started. Nine diamonds already, guys. That's incredible. We need to set aside five for... Oh, good. Uh-oh. Please, not a witch. Anything but a witch. There's a witch and the spider spawners. Oh, that's not good. But I can quickly make myself a lava bucket. And that will be very helpful indeed. Because, oh, I don't want to burn my crafting table. It will allow me to burn enemies, and that can be very powerful at times. And it worked again. And yeah, even though I was underground for a while there for a bit, still it came back up and yeah. I think we this world has a lot of potential with this really cool jungle biome and maybe we can build like an ancient city up in the cliffs and like maybe like a fossilized city up here and stuff like that or just structures like that and there's just so many cool ideas I have for this place and we will return to my other world the original let's play and probably in the next episode and hello again everybody it's the next day for me and I want to head out and get um maybe See if I can find a little bit more food and maybe a little more coal if I can. And... You're kidding. Guys, I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> um, I, you know how it is. I forgot to uh, initiate the sound software again, and I. So you guys won't be able to really hear most of this uh most of the first part of the episode so i am sorry about that i will remember in the a little bit more in the future to try to uh yeah uh turn that on again so you guys can enjoy the sounds and uh yeah i apologize for that but this is cool this is really, really cool. And I want to find a dark oak forest so I can start creating a base or somewhat of a base. And yes, 
maybe just a storage room for now and it would be up in the uh, uh, jungle amplified jungle and okay this is quite dangerous here I see you the, uh, a village thank goodness just, just I'm just gonna take all the farmers wheat you know they can't stop me they're villagers they don't understand that I need it, and if they try to stop me, then I have a diamond sword here that can just speak louder than my words. So, you know, that's a... Uh... Yeah, and maybe I can grab a brewing stand. Hello, I don't need you at the moment. Uh, is there a mistake here? Um, Swamp biome. Right. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure why it's just cut off there. Really small one tree swamp biome, that's cool. At least I'll get some slime spawning there nearby, that's pretty nice, right? Can't deny that. I am so lucky I wasn't on a high ledge. But here we are guys, we found ourselves a spruce tree and it is good to bring it back to our base, or the saplings at least, so we can collect all of the uh, tree variants so we'll have plenty of wood types to work with for any type of buildings we want. So that'll be really really cool and I'll just finish this tree and look what else we're we were really up high here and now there's a swamp biome beneath us and we have a bit of a um, dark oak uh, biome roofed forest biome which is really really fantastic here and I can just yeah do this and just take some of its wood. Really nice. Might need an axe for this though. This dark oak wood will go, will go really really well with our base and I do have some ideas for that I have said before and look at me. I'm now in a full suit of diamond armor. I did a little more mining off camera and I know this is the first episode and you're like what? He already has diamond armor? How did he do that? Well I just mined for a while and it is nighttime now which I need to uh, fix. My goodness, I'm so lucky that there was water down there. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> That's why you watch where you're going when you play Minecraft, guys. Uh, I almost died. Thank goodness for randomly generated lakes. Am I right, guys? Oh. And here we are guys, we have just set up our portal right here, nothing too fancy for now, and that's only temporary I'm sure. And now we just need a little bit of iron and a little bit of flint, if I can find some of that. Then, here's the iron. Alright guys, one thing about entering the nether for the first time is you want to have one piece of gold armor in case there are any piglins down there, a shield, some good armor at least iron and maybe some enchantments they don't need to be very good just like basic like these a pickaxe a good sword a bow some more gold some golden apples just in case and a bucket of lava because this can destroy some mobs some food a little extra food another flint and steel always because you know in case the portal might get destroyed by a ghast. 
and a stack of a certain block like cobblestone and you want to hold shift while going through because you could be uh, floating like so and look at that I would have been completely murdered if I had just run off the portal and we are in a basalt delta that is not too good um <clears throat> we could probably build ourselves a bigger platform for now and just yeah just a little shelter here nothing too fancy just making this a little bit safer here and maybe build up the walls a little bit no nothing fancy at all And yeah, also be very careful and look out for ghasts because they have a tendency to attack and knock people off things and into other dangerous places. <clears throat> and now, yeah, since we didn't find anything too remarkable, we can just go back here. And... That is basically what you want to do when you get inside the nether, especially in an amplified world, You there is a higher percent chance that you will be floating. Actually, because you can... you're higher up. At the moment, though, I believe that I can create an iron axe and start working on our base on my base now guys that will be really really cool and iron axe and since these trees have grown up I can now drop them down again and then replant and get even more wood and then I can actually start building my base that'll be really really fantastic and I'll see how fancy I can go right now um I'm probably not going to be able to do my 100% best with the resources we have available, but I will definitely make something cool. And because I don't have a very good axe at the moment, so that'll take a long time to get as much wood as we need to finally start our base. Anyway, guys, um, I think this is a good place to end the episode for today, so thank you guys so much for watching this Let's Play and Let's Play series, and yeah, I, unfortunately I can't do common question of the day because I want to document it, and can't document it gonna be forgotten so I kind of want to keep a record and yeah just keep track of all those so thank you guys very much for watching these the series if you want to see more videos on this series then yeah if you want to hit that like button and subscribe if you want and yeah you'll make and that'll the subscribe button will make sure that you get notified anytime I come out with another video and thank you guys so much for watching again and we will see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye and take care.